Did you know that you can record your lectures and even stream them live from most UB classrooms? This video will show you how using your teaching station and the included Panopto software. Okay, so here we are at a classroom teaching station in a UV classroom, and we are going to make a recording of our lecture using Panopto. So uh, no matter what you're doing when you're using a teaching station, the first step is always going to be to enter your six-digit combination using the touchscreen control panel here. Uh, if you don't know your classroom's combination, you can look it up online at the UBIT website. Just go to buffalo.edu slash UBIT slash combination. And I know my classroom combo, so I'm going to touch to wake the screen and enter it here. Okay, and for Panopto, we want to use the internal PC as input. We can find that on the left. And your monitor should come to life. In our case, we want Panopto, uh, which is an icon on the desktop, so I'm going to click that. And the first step will be to sign in with my UBIT name and password. Okay, here we are in the Panopto desktop recorder. Now, at the top of the screen, you can name your recording and select where to save your recording in Panopto's cloud storage. If you want to do a live webcast while you're recording, just check this box in the upper right that says webcast. Now here on the left, we have our primary sources. Uh, your classroom's video and audio tools should be listed as your default inputs automatically, uh, but it never hurts to check. Let's talk about the microphone options. Your microphone options might be different depending on the room you're in. Uh, if you're in a smaller room with a capacity of 50 or fewer, you may find an embedded microphone directly in the teaching station. You can unmute it and mute it using the touchscreen panel. If you don't see that embedded mic, chances are you're going to want to get the clip-on lapel mic from your microphone drawer. So open the microphone drawer using the touchscreen panel and look for a clip-on lapel mic. You want to power that on, check the battery level, and then clip it to your shirt. In any case, uh, you can control the input level of your microphone using the touchscreen panel. You can also control the camera on the touchscreen panel. You just select camera control here on the right hand side. Uh, also, if you have slides on your teaching station, you're doing a presentation, uh, make sure down here where it says secondary source, uh, select main screen and not PowerPoint. If you select PowerPoint, uh, this works really well for presentation slides and recordings, but your live guests, if you're doing a webcast, uh, won't be able to see them. So, PowerPoint's fine if you're doing a recording, but if you're doing a webcast, I recommend using main screen instead. Okay, and our audio and video inputs are set up, so we are going to hit record. And we're doing a live webcast, which means at the bottom here, we're given a URL. We can copy that link and then send it to people if we want them to join. Put that wherever you're communicating with your, uh, your viewers elsewhere, and they'll be able to join you. Okay, we've been recording for just about a minute here, so we're going to hit stop, and then the recording is saving. Hit upload to save your recording to the cloud. After class, log into Panopto at buffalo.edu slash UBIT slash Panopto to edit, share, and manage your recordings. Visit the UBIT website to learn more about Panopto and how that works. For more information or help with UB teaching technology, visit buffalo.edu slash UBIT slash teaching, where you can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation in the classroom of your choice with a helpful member of our classroom support team. Thanks for watching.